Hey everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Helen Lee Makeup and today we're going to be opening and unboxing the Try Beauty Box. So here's what it looks like. I love the packaging of this box. I love all the little makeup things around it. And let's just go ahead and dive right in. So I have not opened this yet. I just cut the tape. That way I can go ahead and open it up a little easier for you guys. So now I'm just going to be grabbing from the box and... We're gonna see what I got. The first item I pulled out of my box is a beauty blender. So here's what it looks like. It is the real beauty blender. I love the teal color of this. Teal is my favorite color. And this is perfect because I've been needing this because all of my other beauty blenders are dirty. So I'm super excited for this item. So the style of this beauty blender is called Just Chill and it retails for $20. So the next item I just pulled out of my box is from the Balm Cosmetics and it's this little contour palette. I am obsessed with the Balm Cosmetics packaging. I love everything that's vintage. I love all like the pinup girls and everything like that. I love how these are all supposed to be their mug shots. It even gives a little reasoning as to why they have their mug shots. This one is Mary Lou Manizer. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but whatever. AKA the Luminizer. This one is Cindy Lou. That reminds me of the Grinch. That's pretty funny. Um, Cindy Lou Manizer. AKA the contour artist. So I'm gonna assume that these are like the shades or maybe like that one might be the highlighter since it's the lightest one. And if this is the contour and she's like, she's a redhead, I'm gonna assume that this may be the blush. And this is Betty Luminizer. Oh, Luminizer. <laughs> the way it's spelt is L O U space capital M A N I Z E R. So that's why I was saying it separately, but I just got that. It's luminizer. Okay. And this one is the bronzing bandit. So I'm going to assume that this is the bronzer. So you have Mary Lou, Cindy Lou, and Betty Lou. That's what the back looks like. Oh my gosh, they even went as far as to putting little fingerprints in there. The packaging itself is enough for me. Like, I don't even want to open it. Like, I think I'm probably going to keep this and, like, don't know what I would do with it, but super cute. Oh my gosh, it's on the actual palette, too. Okay, so that's cool. So now let's go ahead and open her up. <gasps> no! Okay, guys, so... The middle shade came completely smashed. So that came pretty much like it's missing a half chunk. So let me go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. So we're going to go right on in. Alright, so there's the highlighter. It's almost like a rose gold highlighter, it looks like, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be the blush. And here's the bronzer. So there are those three shades. I like that this isn't a harsh blush. I'm not big on pinks like I said. Uh, before in my prior video, so I'm I would definitely use this. I am super disappointed that this came uh kind of shattered but the majority of the pan is still in there Ooh, and it's all over my pants right now so give me a minute and just something to note the reason why it probably shattered was because there was no protection around the palette it was not in any sort of bubble wrap or anything and they literally just have like a few pieces of popcorn in here so that's probably a big contributing factor as to why that happened. So the name of this palette is called the Menizer Sisters. It's right across the top. This palette retails for $28. So that's the next item in my box is also from the Balm Cosmetics. I'm reading the little card right here. So it's called the Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. 
and this retails for $20. So here's what it looks like. Ugh, the packaging is just so cute. I can't get over it. Here's the back. Oh, nothing much on the back. And it just kind of slides off. And there you go. So it looks like it has like a little color tint just to the pan itself. But let's go ahead and swatch it and see what it looks like. I'm going to try and do like a nice big swatch. Let's watch it right here. So let's go right Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, It's not on my finger anymore, so it's definitely translucent, so that's good. So the fact that when I swatched this, nothing came up is a good sign. That means it is truly translucent. I personally was worried about it having like a yellow tint to it because I am pretty fair. I have makeup on right now and I'm bronze, so you can't see how like fair I really am. But to like set my whole face, this would have kind of like scared me a little bit. And it has like a nice, like very soft velvety feel to it. So I am excited to use this. I'll probably use it in a Instagram video showing you me using all the products from the Tri Beauty box. So. Okay, so the next item in my box is the Ro Rodial, Rodial, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but Rodial Glamo Brow in the color dark ash brown so this retails for $26 let me show you what the bottle looks like so here's what the pencil looks like it has a nice fresh spoolie oh it's a precise one I've been needing one of these again it's dark ash brown that works perfectly for my brows because I do like to fill them in a little darker than their natural color. And I just have darker hair in general. Alright, now the last item in my box is a lip palette. It is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And it's a 12 color pro lip palette. So here's what it looks like. It came in some plastic. Go ahead and open it. I think these might be the colors that are in the palette. So that's pretty cool. I like how they put it on the outside. And then they actually show you all the little colors on the back. Okay, so it looks like this part is only on the toss away package part. But the lip shades are on the back of the palette, which is cool. But let me just show this to you guys one more time. So those are the colors. This palette retails for $50. So that one definitely passed the price of the subscription box. Uh, the cost of Tribe Beauty Box, it's a bi-monthly box. It's $34.99 every two months. I'm going to go ahead and swatch just like a couple of these shades for you guys. I'm really looking at this shade. It's like a deep copper almost, but it has like a little rosy undertones to it. And it looks kind of shimmery. And then here's this copper one. And I kind of want to swatch this one. It's called Catwalk. This one is fierce and this one is luminous. And just so you guys see, this is the little brush it came with. It's pretty cute. It's like a flat brush and then like a little definer brush. So I'll use this to do the swatches. Alright, so this first one is Catwalk. That's luminous. This one's fierce. See, that one's a little more coppery. Here's another one I want to do. It's like a bright orangey red. It's called Mandarina. Oh, wow. That one's a little scary. And you know what? This purple one is speaking to me too, so I'm going to swatch this last one for you. Oh, I actually like this one a lot. This one is called Couture. So yeah, this month's box really didn't impress me all that much because I'm not really big into lip palettes, but I definitely do want to try this out and actually try incorporating these into my beauty routine a little more. Another thing is I do have a ton of contour palettes, so I really wasn't looking forward to this as well. But I do love the Bomb Cosmetics. I love their packaging and everything about them. Another reason why I'm probably not as impressed with this box is because the last box they had, they had a Luxie four-piece eye brush set. They had a Suva Beauty palette. They had a Wander Beauty skin oil in there, which was really cool. And I just thought that that box altogether was a really nice box. This box isn't a bad box. I just, 
I think I was expecting a little more because their boxes were in increasingly getting better and better. So that ends today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next video. I have two Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. They both have finally came in. I am so excited. I'm going to compare each box for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. And please go check out my Instagram. I post my little Instagram videos using and testing out all these products. And just so you can stay updated with me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.